All right, so today we're doing a grocery haul video. I've got a grocery haul and it cost me $196.41. I went to three different stores, Aldi, Walmart, and Kroger. I normally only go to two and it would either be Aldi or Walmart or Aldi or Kroger, but today that didn't work out because I went to Walmart first and it did not have a very good meat selection and my husband wanted steaks tonight and if we're gonna pay a pretty penny for steaks then i don't want raggedy not very good steaks so i went to kroger and you know kroger just loops you in with stuff you probably don't need and plus i went ahead and got my produce at kroger too because walmart's is never that good it's not that great i either get it from aldi or i'd rather either i would like to get it from aldi and if they don't have it at Aldi, or if you could only buy it in bulk at Aldi, I would rather get it at Kroger. Walmart sometimes has fruit flies. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, so let's get started. So I got toilet paper. We do Charmin. I prefer to get the bigger pack, but they were out of the bigger pack, the biggest pack for the Ultra Soft. They had it in the Ultra Strong, but I like the Ultra Soft. My whole family does. Then we've got a big old thing of Bounty. Before me and my husband lived together, I bought the cheapest of both of those. It was Sparkle and Angel Soft. It really pains me to pay for those, but they're worth, they're good quality. They're worth the money, but it still hurts my cheap soul to buy that. All right, so we've got some sandwich bags for lunches, some freezer bags for freezing, and just gallon size bags for anything bigger that we need to store. We got some chewy chocolate chip granola bars and some chewy dipped peanut butter bars. If you have not had these, they're from Aldi and they are so good. They've got like creamy peanut butter inside of them. I get these for my son. He likes to eat them after school when he gets home. He likes to have a little snack <clears throat> before dinner's cooked. Let's see. I got some chipotle peppers. I actually blend these up into... Um, light sour cream or you can do, blend them up with uh, Greek yogurt and I haven't done this but you could even like blend them up with some ranch and it makes like a chipotle like a little chipotle sauce I like them for my tacos you know burritos stuff like that my son loves this you can make you really only need one of them and you can refrigerate the rest I really wish I could just buy one little pepper um, and then store the sauce in the fridge I'm actually gonna do little taco racks this week for myself because I'm gonna be at home so I can cook for myself every day. I'm just gonna cook up some taco meat and this will be good on that. Uh, some fat free mozzarella cheese. Some reduced sodium soy salsa. And these are Greek yogurt bars and they're covered in chocolate. These are vanilla. I sell them at Walmart. They normally only have vanilla or strawberry. These are amazing. At least I think that they are. Um, they're not overly sweet because the inside is Greek yogurt and it tastes tangy like Greek yogurt and the tanginess of the Greek yogurt and the like deliciousness of the chocolate on the outside. I love it. <laughs> see it says, see if you can see it, sweet and tart most definitely. Um, there it goes. They're 140 calories. I actually normally eat these before I work out, before I weight lift. They are super yummy and sometimes I just eat them at night before an after dinner snack. Two things of fat-free cheddar because I'm going to make like a lighter mac and cheese this week to go with one of my meals. We've got, so all of Aldi, Walmart has like their own version of shake and bake but it's got different flavors. And I saw it last time I was there and I wanted to try it. So I got this honey bourbon that I'm gonna do on chicken. Then I got this zesty ranch that I'm going to do on some tilapia that I'll show you in a minute for um, fish tacos. I'm actually going to mix in some of my homemade taco seasoning with this. It's also, yeah, these look really yummy. Um, I wish I had an air fryer so I could oh, so I could put this on there and air fry it hopefully for Christmas fingers crossed so 
I got these were on sale. I don't normally buy these, um, but they were two for nine, which is still really not that good, but they're really tasty. I got the Dr. Zevia and the ginger root beer. These are made with stevia as opposed to like sucralose or however you pronounce that word where it's basically, you know, not sugar, but fake sugar and it's zero calories, which I'm not saying I don't drink that stuff. I do. But if I can, I'd like to have a different alternative to that because I know it's not really that great for you, but whatever. So I got these, they're gonna be good. Some mesquite smoked turkey breast for the guys for their lunch. Eh. Um, almond milk vanilla creamer. I got this peppermint here. Last week I got this. This kind, I haven't opened it yet because we still had creamer, peppermint mocha, but my husband said it sounded nasty. So <laughs> this is going to be for me. And I got him the vanilla. So um, I got some black peppercorns. It's a refill for my pepper grinder. If you watch my What's for Dinner, dinner videos, you see that I'm show pepper grinder a lot of times, salt and pepper grinder uncured turkey bacon the stuff is delicious um i saw this on i don't know if anyone follows her but uh felicia felicia keithley she's uh the young woman who lost like over 100 pounds on weight watchers she does like a breakfast bowl um and she always uses that but i'm gonna put it in a breakfast casserole i'm gonna make for myself this week green leaf single cuts this is for some Asian lettuce wraps I'm going to do this week. We'll do lettuce wraps. I'll probably make some rice for the guys if they want to have that too. I'll just have mine on lettuce wraps. Some pico de gallo. This is from Kroger. Um, my best friend, Sky, if you're watching this, hey Sky. Um, she says that the pico de gallo from Kroger is the best. So I'm going to trust her on this and have some this week on my little taco prep traps that I'm going to make for the week. All right, so here are the uh, big old steaks that I bought for tonight. We probably won't cook all these. I'm gonna bet we freeze at least one of them because two of these, we'll probably even have leftovers just with three of us. I don't know, because of the fat, like, you know, after we cook them, we'll cut that stuff off and not eat it. So we may actually eat two, but that one will get frozen. I'll probably use, like cut it up and put it at a different meal. All right, so then we got some juices, some cold brush juices, organic defense up, organic greens and ginger. And then I've got these little shots, digestion, ginger and probiotics, and then immunity. I normally actually buy a bunch of these, but they only had one of those. And so I just got these big juices instead. And plus these are really expensive. They're so good. I wish I could buy them in bulk somewhere. I probably should look that up. But you know, minced garlic. I was out. Yes, I know it's probably better to mince your own garlic. I'm lazy. It's sticky. I don't want to do it. Um, these are uh, seedless clementines. Easy to me. They said seedless clementines on the thing, but they say mandarins on here. So whatever. I like citrus fruits. I bought them. This is some Southwest Top Salad Kit. I'm actually not going to use it as a salad. These are going to go on the tilapia fish tacos that I make. I saw the recipe in my one of the Aldi Facebook groups I follow. But they used um, the beer battered fish at Aldi. The beer battered cod. And I think it was like 200, 200 cal over 200 calories for one fish fillet. So that's why I just got my own tilapia and some shake and bake. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Uh, some chicken patties. I actually make these and put them on biscuits for the boys in the morning. So healthy. Got them. Uh, broccoli that's going to go with the light nut mac and cheese that I make and the honey bourbon shake and bake chicken. We got some Doritos for the boys' lunch. Some butter and orange bell pepper for the Asian wraps, Asian lettuce wraps, slimes for the tacos, 
purple onion for the Asian wraps. We got some Mike's Killer white bread. We got, I got some hoagie rolls for my husband for his lunches because he takes sandwiches. Thought it'd be fun to do a different kind of bread. Let's see. Cilantro. This is for the Asian wraps and my taco wraps. And the tacos, I guess, really just for all week. I need to get it cut up. Tomato for salads. Whipped cream cheese, just because. So good. I actually like to put that on. Rice cakes with some, like, sugar-free jelly. Or even rice cakes with just some, like, cut up berry fruit. I didn't buy any this week, so it'll probably just be that. And sugar-free jelly. Yum. Me. Let's see. Sweet potatoes. I'm going to cook these and put some taco seasoning on them. And they're going to go into my taco crunch wraps for the week. Just a thin layer. Sounds weird. It's good. Don't judge. Let's see. Uh, russet potatoes for steak night tonight. Let's see. Ooh. Eggs. Just because we need eggs. Tilapia fillets. That's for the fish tacos. Lettuce. And I'm going to cut up for salads. Cucumber for salads. Green onion, which this is for basically all the things the cilantro is for. Oh, and I put it in my breakfast casserole. I just feel like it really makes it. I love green onions. Like, I probably buy green onions every week. I normally, you know, some of them go bad because, you know, I don't use this whole pack all week. But they're 99 cents. Not bad. Some Joseph's Lavish Bread. I prefer the bigger ones. These are for this one. It's a pretty decent size. It's like 100 calories per wrap. And the bigger one is 120. But I prefer the bigger one because I'm going to make a crunch wrap. Um, and maybe I'll do a video on it. Or you could just follow uh, Lily Eats and Tells on Instagram. And in her story highlights, she has how to make her crunch Well, basically how to fold them. You can put whatever you want in a crunch wrap. Um, I'm going to put taco stuff. Uh, it's delicious but you want them big so you can stuff it in there and it not break it basically always breaks at least for me maybe I'm just not good at folding them whatever and then we have some fresh ground turkey that's what I'm gonna cook up for the taco meat and I think that is all that I got I normally like I said, don't spend this much money. I normally try and stay within $120 range, but that didn't happen this week. And the stores were packed because it's around the holidays and I just really wanted to get out of there. I'll do better after the new year. I'm sure a lot of people are saying that right now. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.